January 20th, it was announced that Etta James has passed away. Uh, we're a couple of days late, as we said, stated earlier, we were um, dealing with some family issues. But uh, Miss Etta James was a six-time Grammy Award winner, and I don't know, a lot of us won't, won't know about the blues um, music awards, but she had 17 of them. Wow. And she was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1993, and the Grammy Award Hall of Fame also. Um, I met Etta James when I was younger, way younger. <laughs> it was in the 90s. Um, in New Orleans, you just meet everybody. I was at, I was dropping some stuff off at Storyville. I used to work at a studio called um, the Firehouse. It was a practice and recording studio. And um, I was dropping some um, compressors off at Storyville for a show that they were going to do that night. And I, I didn't know what the hell Storyville was, for one, because you know these places, but you don't know the name of them when you walk through the quarter. So I walk all the way through the quarter, I'm asking everybody. I stopped off at um, the little bar and grill, and I was talking to a buddy of mine. And he's like, hey man, uh, where you going? I'm like, I'm looking for Storyville. <laughs> we were sitting in Storyville. Oh. <laughs> he's like, you sitting in Storyville? I'm like, I thought this was your joint. Oh. They were warm puffin. <laughs> he's like, this is Storyville. <laughs> Did they have a sign on outside? There was like, a sign on there, but I never looked at that oh, sign. Okay. From New Orleans, you know, you just go to a place. Oh. You know, Know what, know what it is? Like, we never close. You, you don't actually know the name of the actual store. You just know they never close. I would know the name of the store. <laughs> so, I'm in there. He's like, well, I want you to meet somebody. And I always knew he was he was introducing me to all these old blues players and stuff. And I was like, man, is it Michael Jackson? <laughs> Which you blew? Oh, that's, that's the only person you wanted to meet. That's the only person I hadn't met at that time, you know? <laughs> You're like, no, 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 this lady, she's gonna be. You, you. Well, this was before she thought, no. No, no, before. she's already a famous woman. Right, this is she's like older, the She's yeah. like in business 60, 30 yeah. years at that point. You, you didn't know who she was? I, I knew the songs, but yeah, I didn't know I didn't who know, she was. Yeah. And he heard me singing at last one time, right. and I was like, he's like, I want you to meet this lady. And I went in there and met her. And, um, was she nice? She was a big character, man. She was a big it's, character. He's like, I heard you singing my song. <laughs> <laughs> and I look over at Warren, and he's, uh, no, um, Jimmy, and uh, he was like, yeah, I told her you sang a song, but she knows that nobody can sing better than her. And she was just the sweetest lady. She was so sweet. She was just like, like, uh, like the mother that's kind of mean acting, but what, really, really a part. sweetheart. Yeah. yeah. She was like, just keep it up, baby. You just keep it up and you'll, you'll be where you wherever you want to be. But they tell me you don't really care about music and you play. <laughs> <laughs> so we sat there and talked for like 20 minutes or so. And um, she was telling me she was going up to Tipitina's. I was like, well, I'm going that way. And uh, she was like, well, meet me there. Mm -hmm. I'm like, she had a lot of bodyguards. No, no, no. There was cool people. They get in the car. And, Get on the oh, bus and all that. Like, yeah. Well, she had a nice car to ride in, oh, but she was driving or somebody somebody was driving her because she was a little heavier at the time, oh. so I don't think she was able to drive. But she was a beautiful woman, and um, I, I hung out with them at at uh, Tipitina's while she was doing a, um, a set. You know, not a you know like a setup, but, um, yeah, a, a practice rehearsal. Yeah, and. Um, Right. <laughs> you said it like I didn't know what that was. And, um, I know what that was. You know, baby. she's like, You gonna come tonight, baby? I'm like, Well, I gotta go to work. And Where's she from? And she, oh. I think she's, she's California. Oh, okay. But she's like, uh, When you're a musician, you don't go to work. <laughs> you stay the hell with work. Fuck a job. For real. And we had a nice time. We were talking and stuff a little bit. And then after that, um, after that, I didn't see. I didn't see yeah, her for a, one, for a long time. It was like '96. You saw her again. I saw her again. How you get to see people? Just New Orleans. Everybody I'm see everybody. There. Well, y'all was on the West Bank. We don't see nothing on the West Bank. <laughs> so, 
I saw her again, and I, I didn't think she would know who I was. She remembered you? She, she was at the House of Blues. It was three years. And she still remembered you? And, yeah, I went to the back, and um, she's like, you got them damn compressors again. <laughs> and I looked over, and I'm like, you know who I am? Lil' Carrie Woods! <laughs> that was real skinny. He's like, Lil' Carrie Woods, you still working, huh? You still got a job. It was, she was a nice lady. If you could end up working for her, she didn't either. Well, she didn't really need, but as a sound man, I could have yeah. probably hitched a ride on the tour. She knew who I was, but I didn't want to get into that yeah. world at that time. Because, you know, I was working on my mother. My mother was sick all the time, so I, I wanted to be close to her when she passed away. But that's my story about Etta. I'm so sorry to hear that she passed away. And yeah. So sorry that I didn't, I hadn't, I'd never seen her again after that. And, and you know, it, it's just hard to hear that. And I knew she was sick, but they kept saying she was getting better. And then, then I guess things took a turn for the worse. And now, you know, she passed. Yeah, it seemed that she had a lot of different little uh, ailments. Uh, she was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. And she also had um, leukemia, which ended up being the thing that um, brought her to her death. But um, if you get a chance today or any time this week, I want people to go back and listen to some of Etta James's songs. Um, At Last, of course, everybody knows that one now. Um, Tell Mama and Dance With Me Harry. Just go and check those songs out and, and you know, remember her for her excellence and the fact that she was one of the uh, black women to pave the way for people like Beyonce and Janet Jackson and all those people. Not that Janet Jackson is a singer of that caliber, but just right, being a, just a female performer and, yeah. and and bridging the gap between blues and rock and roll like she did because she was great. She was a great woman and she was a great person too. And you know, I never got to cook her that gumbo I told her I could cook. <laughs> she didn't believe me. But y'all have a good one. Anything you want to add? No, I'm straight. Y'all have a good one. And um, see you later.